Now that we've finally gotten our complex formulas to show us the information we're looking for, how many votes in Gloucester County for McAuliffe for governor were there in this spreadsheet? Uh, now that we've got all that figured out, is there a better way to visualize this besides a table of 40 cells? And that's where charts and graphs come in to help us. Excel has a wide variety of charts that we can insert under the Insert tab in the ribbon. And there's even, uh, let me do this, I'm going to remove this so that it doesn't confuse itself. But if I, there's even a recommended charts, and it says there's no recommendations because the data you have selected, well, I'm not selecting anything. So let's change this, select our data, what kind of chart does it recommend? It recommends a clustered bar chart, or a stacked, or a clustered column, or a stacked column. And the reason it's choosing clustered is because it can tell that there's multiple options. The difference between clustered and stacked, think about what these would represent. A cluster is going to represent each of our candidates in each of our counties independently. And that's actually what we want. A stack is going to try to say, oh, all of these candidates are part of the whole that is King and Queen County. So if we wanted to measure which county had the most votes, we would use a stacked chart. That would allow us to show which county had the most votes. But if we want to know who won in each county, that would be a cluster. So let's, uh, let's do both and see what the differences are. First off, the clustered column. Let me move this over a little bit, make it just a little bit bigger so you can see what it's done. In one click, essentially, uh, Excel is smart enough to group everything by county and then label based upon color who won. If I come back and choose Insert recommended chart. Let's do the stacked. You can see the difference there. The colors still represent individual candidates, but they are all now added together. That's why my scales are different. So if we wanted to know what county had the most votes, at this snapshot, it was King William County. We could still kind of tell who had the most votes in between, but some of them are pretty close. If we want to know who won in each county, that would be this column. Now, the formatting of a chart can have a significant impact. Would green and purple be the most thought of colors when we're talking about a political election in the United States? No. Red and blue would be to represent the different um, the different candidates' parties. So how do we go about changing the colors? It's actually very simple. If I click in each of these charts, there are so many different areas that are clickable, and you can see it selects them. To change the way things look in my chart, I can click the specific elements, and you can see the groups of things are changed. That's a single click. If I click this green, actually this is a little easier to see. If I click this purple, it selects the entire series, all of the purple. If I click again, now I'm going to edit that individual. So be careful which one you're editing. But let's change the colors of our political candidates. Would we want green and purple? No, we would want red and blue. So I select all my green, which I can see is Cuccinelli. And Cuccinelli ran under the Republican Party. The Republican Party's primary color is red. So let's choose a red. And we could choose this really bold red, but be careful. Uh, that might be too bold and could hurt some people's eyes, depending on the size and nature of your chart. So I'll do that one's a little softer. Same thing down here, we'll change our green to this red. 
Do we want purple for the Democrats? No, we'll change that to a nice blue. Click the series, change it to blue. One last thing we should do is to give our charts some effective titles so that we know what each chart represents. We can double click in the chart to change the title. What is this? What story is this first chart telling us? It's uh, it's votes per candidate per county, which is different from our second chart, which is total votes per county. They tell two different stories. But what I want you to do, give yourself a huge pat on the back. We've taken this complex uh, spreadsheet worth of data that you've never seen before. We've been able to analyze it, transform it into some information that actually tells us something. It tells us a story. Then we created some visualizations that we can now import into a presentation or print out into you know, some full page charts that allow us to effectively communicate this information to a group of people.